Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another skate video. Hey, just want to try to quickly show you two mods that I did to my Rydell skates. These are my old uh, Sugar Grip Fame, Sonic Fame skates. These are my new Rydell skates with the 120 uh, leather boots. Um, two things that I did. Uh, after transitioning and working, uh, you'll notice on this boot, <laughs> there's something funny going on here. Uh, which is, this is a sock that I cut down and put over the tongue. Now, why did I do that? The reason I did it, like I said, I've worn these boots for a year. Basically, kind of wore the boot itself out. Um, this has a cloth backing, which slides. Uh, if you have socks on or if it's, you know, you're wearing a uh, ankle sock and it's just against your... Um, and this is rubbing against your, your skin or even against your sock. It slides. This is rubber. Uh, it's kind of a thick rubber foam type stuff. This does not slide. Even though I wear a very thick uh, sock, this was hurting the front of my leg. Um, so... Uh, I mean, you could. I mean, it's grippy. If you want, if you wanted a, a table mat or something that was grippy, this thing is grippy. So I cut down a pair of ankle socks that are old ankle socks that I had. Put that over it like so. Basically, put it over, push it down. You kind of get where I'm going with that. Uh, get it behind the laces. Man, that worked. Great. That worked so good. Um, and keeping this from tearing up the front of your leg. Um, and it, it, I think it, it looks fine. I mean, if you use the right color sock, this is a gray sock, so it, it fits right in. The other thing that I did for these skates is um, they were starting to hurt my feet. It, they were really... Um, foot cramp was kind of coming in um, from the bottom of my, especially my right skate. Uh, so I tried a, uh, one, a, a uh, I have flat feet, let me say that first, uh, kind of wide flat feet. So it was starting to kind of uh, be a bit painful. So I looked into getting an insole, looking online at insoles, and this is what I came up with. These or is it upside down? Yes, it is. SB socks. Uh, I got these on Amazon. And I was looking for an insole that was not thick. Uh, that didn't have a thick heel in the back. Uh, because you already have a heel. You're already leaning forward. You already have gotten probably kind of used to your, your skate in the... And the tilt that you have and to mess with that because the skate comes with this and it's just a this is the insult that was in there just a flat piece of foam that's uh, formed to the bottom of the skate here is the SB socks let me bag up a little bit there and so these have a arch for those of us with flat feet um, they come in different sizes. Um, has a, a deep heel cup. And it's not that much. It looks like a lot because you've got this rim. But then it falls back down. And I can't honestly tell you how deep that is. But it worked out perfectly for me. And my feet stopped hurting. <laughs> I've skated on these. And my feet... Do not hurt. And it feels so much better. It's so much more comfortable. They are a bit stiff. See, that's that's not bending in here. Um, the arch to me is not too high. Uh, let me show you this. Now, here's one thing you're going to know. There's the, here's the insole that came out. And you see here's the SB Sox sole. Uh, it is wider 
at the back, it's wider through uh, the arch in your, f your foot here. So I thought I was gonna have to cut it, but it's actually, this was a medium that I ordered. And when, you, when you're on Amazon and you're looking at the sizes, you gotta look at the pictures on the left because you'd be like, okay, small, medium, large, what does that mean? The pictures on your left, you'll find a picture and it'll tell you which size is medium. What does that cover? And on the back here, it has where, you know, where you need to cut. But if you notice something here, this was a medium which goes up to nine and a half, nine and a half for men. And that's it, it does have the men and women uh, things. But I'm gonna put this right at the back here, of here, and you see here, and you see that is just short. And these are nine, size nine skates. And it is just short of being the size of the insert that was in the boot. But it fit just fine. Let me say this, don't cut it. If it's, unless you have a length issue, don't mess with this. Don't mess with this. Because you can even see the heel cup. Show you that. It's wider. It's wider. Just push it in. If you have to cut it, cut cut it down, but don't don't mess with the size. Just push it in at first and see can you get it in the boot. This fits very firmly in my boot. Once you push it in, it is hard to get out. Matter of fact, I had to get a a, a butter knife, <laughs> the butt of a, a spoon or something, just to get it back out. Uh, so it fits in there very firmly, but it worked just fine without cutting anything or messing with it uh, because again my it, it was a little bit shorter than the insert that was in there so I didn't need to cut it so if again if you have to cut it you know cut it down but don't mess with the rest of the parameter until you tried it I would suggest you try it first push it down in the boot uh, you kind of have to fold it maybe a little bit up at front and get it in there and push it down in there Put the boot on and try it out and then go from there but these are a lifesaver uh, and they're cheap they're only 10 bucks compared to some of the other inserts that i looked at i looked at um, and most of the inserts are, are usually talking about hockey skating inserts uh, very few things are talking about skates uh, there's a little bit about inline skates but not quad skates so I think these are great, personally. That's my personal opinion. Hopefully they will work for you, but they, they, they work great for me. So something that's not too expensive, if you need that little bit extra of comfort, you're having a little bit of a foot problem, uh, the bottom of the boot just feels so hard that you just want to try something different, I would suggest you try the SB Socks inserts. And again, I don't get paid for none of this. I don't ask anyone to like or subscribe. I have a link below to these if you would like to try a pair. Uh, but that's it, guys. Hey, y'all have a blessed day.